Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Section Viewport and Clip Cube. Both of these are tools or different ways to start thinking about how we visualize our scenic design, how we tell the story of, of what we're designing to the other design team. Uh, the section viewport, for example, is hugely important to your lighting designer because that will give them all sorts of information they need to know about hang positions and sight lines and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump right in with our section viewport. Basically what a section does is it cuts the theater right down the center and looks either one direction or the other so that you can see everything from a side view like that, but without the walls in the way. So what we'll actually do is we'll start with our little theater here. So this is that same set we've been using over and over again. I have added in some tabs and some borders and some other soft goods and things like that just to kind of bring it up to uh, a little closer to what it might look like. So to do our section viewport, it's very similar to creating any other viewport we've already talked about. What we do here is we go to top, go into view, and what we're looking for is create section viewport. It's down here right below the regular viewport. So we'll select that. And then what we need to do, and it'll tell you up here in the left what you should be doing. So the first thing we want to do is go to center and I'll click that and we're going to just draw a line where we want to cut this thing in half. So I'm just going to draw a line straight down to the bottom. Double click will complete that. And now we get to pick which direction we're going to look. Let's look this direction and we'll double click that. That'll bring up a whole bunch of options here similar to any other viewport. First thing we need to do is figure out where we're going to dump it and things like that. So let's add this to a new sheet layer which we will just call section. And quarter inch is fine for now. And yep, everything in there should be fine at default levels for now. We can go back in and I'll show you how to change some things shortly. Click OK. And here is our section. So this is that side view of our theater. And what the lighting designer will do later is the, they'll come in and they'll know, okay, I know I have a bar up here and I have a bar up here. And then they'll look at the angles. If they're throwing lights, will it sneak under that teaser, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what will happen later on. But what we're trying to get is a nice clean side image here. This image is a little muddy, largely because the tabs that are in there, I'll go back in here and show you. These tabs here are sort of interrupting our view. So let's go ahead and let's make these their own class. I'll just select all of these. And I'll just dump them into a new class called tabs. A tab is a curtain that runs upstage, downstage, on the offstage, out in the wings usually. So I'll just name that class tabs. Now when we go to our viewport, if you remember, we have the ability in here to turn certain classes on or off. So we'll select that viewport and update. And you'll notice here in classes, the tabs are, I have turned off in here. So now we get a little better picture of where all the curtains fall and things like that. So the next thing we might want to do is kind of just clean up this image a little bit. I don't love the way it looks with the hard black for objects that we're cutting through. Usually I like a hatch or a pattern in there. Now every time you create a viewport, Vectorworks will automatically create a new class. And that class is called Section Style. What this does is it dictates what all of your sections will look like. So the first time you create a viewport, a new class will appear and you can get in here and you can edit this class. So I just right clicked on section style. So in here we can change some of this. I don't love the solid. I would rather have it be a pattern uh, just made up of black and white. And that's fine. You can pick any number of things. Maybe I want a little hatch. And then on the pen, this thickness is probably a little bit thick for me. So now it needs updating because I've saved those new settings. I'll just go update. And that is our new look. 
So that is the section. That's basically slicing our stage right in half and then looking at half of the image. You'll notice too, whenever we do a, uh, a section like that, it'll drop in these markers. Usually that's not a problem. Sometimes these markers will get in the way if you're doing another, another viewport as well. They'll show up in that viewport. So again, what you can do is just make all of your markers into a new class and turn them off. It, it won't erase them. They'll still be there. They'll still exist. But you won't have to look at them, especially if you have several sections marking up, uh, marking up your drawings. So that is the section. Something else you can do you can do sections. It doesn't have to be of this entire thing. Let's turn off several of these things and let's just look at our set real quick. So say I wanted to cut this wall in half and look at the side to get a sense of what, say, my molding profiles are going to look like. You can draw a section. I'll go to top plan view again. You can draw a section pretty much anywhere. So I'll go up to view, create section viewport. And I want to draw a line straight through here. And I want to look this way at it. Again, that'll bring up all your different options. I'll just click OK for now. And so here is what it looks like if we're looking through that wall, at the side of that wall. It gives you your molding details and some of the door details, etc. So you can run those sections pretty much anywhere. They don't necessarily even have to cross through an object. So say we just wanted to get a good picture of this wall. But because it is at an angle, if we were to do just a front elevation, it wouldn't give us the actual dimensions we wanted because it would be at an angle. So what we'd want to do is have a section coming this way looking up at just that wall. So I'll show you what that looks like. View, create section viewport. Now you can use this to make sure that it's completely parallel to the wall. So I'll just, for now, put my section there. Okay. And then I'll come back in. See, so right now it's sitting on the wall. It's going to look all weird. Let me come back in and I can grab this section and just pull it off a little bit. So now we're standing in front of the wall looking at it. Let's go back there. This one needs to be updated because I moved the section. There it is. So there's a straight on look at that wall now. So if I were presenting something to the shop and they just wanted to see that wall, adjust your crop to just see that wall. It probably adjusted into that line there. Just like that. And again, as with any viewport in here, we can change how we're seeing this. If you want it to be shaded, um, I would come in and do like a final quality render works for the background. And for the foreground, which again is the visualization that sits on top of your, your main visualization, uh, I would do a hidden line. And let's update that. So that is our wall there. So let's go now to our design layer again. That is sections. I'm going to go ahead and hide these, as I had mentioned. I'm going to grab all three of these and I'll just make a new class for them. Section markers. Okay. And I'll go ahead and turn those off now. Again, you don't have to do that. Uh, it's just something that can help keep your drawing clean as you're moving through things. The next thing I want to show you is called Clip Cube. And what that allows you to do is to visualize sections along any plane you want. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is Clip Cube here. If you don't have Clip Cube up here, you can come into View, and down here is Clip Cube. You can also add it to your Quick Toolbar by just clicking this little arrow, 
and then down here you can add all sorts of stuff to your quick buttons. So uh, you can just check this show clip cube right here and that'll bring it up up here. So clip cube, let's activate it. I click it. Now there's a box around my set. As I hover over the box, you'll see it turns red so I can select the box. From there, I can select any face of the box. Oops. And I can push it in. So I just click and hold. And as I push, you'll see in red how it's just cutting through our drawing. It's not destroying the drawing. The drawing is all still there. If we were to pull this back out, we would see that. You can push down from the top to create a quick ground plan. You can bring this back up. We could push it through the front. Just get a section like that. So that's another way to visualize your work. Something you can do though too, especially if you have tilted walls like we have here, you can move the clip cube. For example, if you grab this center one, a little diamond, you drag it, it'll drag that clip cube clear out of there. If you grab any of these four dots, you can rotate. We grab one of those. I want to rotate it so that it is parallel to one of these angled walls. That now you can push through. Like that and just get a view of that. Here's the other handy thing you can do. Once you get your visualization where you want it, I'm going to back that up a bit. Let me push this wall through. There. You just want a little section of what this upstage area looks like. Once you get that set and you like what you're seeing, if you click on the surface and it turns red, then if you right click once that surface is selected, you can bring up Create Section Viewport straight from here. And it will export that view. Again, we can create it wherever we want. I'll drop it under New Sheet Layer, Clip Cube, Sections. Okay. And so here is a view of that Clip Cube. So that's just another way to get to a section drawing. So depending on the geometry of your piece, of what you're working on, it may be easier to use Clip Cube to get your sections. It may be easier to um, do it with the section viewport lines and just drawing lines and striking lines through there. But really, it's up to you. But those are two tools that are going to help you a lot in terms of trying to visualize how everything goes together. Anyway, that's about it for now. Thanks very much for watching. Please reach out with any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.